Alright folks, it's Tony from the Tech Firm. It's a pretty cool little feature I stumbled across uh, a couple of weeks ago and I'm finally getting around to writing it up. Here it is. So we got Wireshark running. I've uh, SSH'd into my router. So it's a Ubiquity Edge router, but that doesn't matter. And uh, this router has TCP dump on it. It just comes with it. I didn't have to do anything. It's just with it. So this is the interface I want to concentrate on is this internet Ethernet 7, ETH7. That's the internet connection, so to speak. So from Wireshark, when you install it, pay attention to the tools and add SSH remote capture. Now, um, don't mess around too much because you're going to make a lot of mistakes like I did. So I'm going to cut to the chase. You got a little gear here to the left of the word. Just click it. It's going to come up with the um, IP address that you can put in, obviously SSH 22 or whatever port you have that. Here we have to put the uh, admin and the uh, password, which I will blank out. When you do click away, it does mask it, but as you type, it puts it all there, which can be good or bad, depending on how you feel about it. And now here I'm going to type the interface, ETH7. I'm going to leave everything else alone. Don't, don't change anything. And I get start. So right now, I'm capturing from Ethernet 7 on my local router. Now, I've done a little bit of testing on the load of the router. Now, the router right now is not that busy, and the load is very minimal. I'm going to assume the busier it gets, the bigger the hit. I don't know. And I also don't know um, how accurate the timestamps are and all that kind of stuff. But in an um, actual pinch, when you want to capture some packets, this seems like a pretty cool way to do it. So give it a try and have fun.